Welcome back, everyone, to my Minecraft Let's Play series, Truth in Stories. Last episode, stuff happened. But before we get into the episode and general re kind of quick recaps, the reason this episode wasn't out ye last week was because, sadly, I got sick. Also, the video was not turning out how I wanted it to, and I had to try multiple times to just to get it to work, and it just wasn't functioning how I wanted it to. So, yeah. That is why we didn't have an episode last week, was because I was feeling ill. Well, that and my Digimon Cyber Sleuth did not have an episode, because I was... I got the common cold, I was just feeling icky, and my voice sounded like hot trash... And I was just low energy, so I didn't have a video made for it ahead of time. In the future, I will try and, you know, pre-record several episodes that this isn't an issue. But, yeah. Sadly, sick, couldn't record, just was not great recordings that had before. So I didn't want to push out a subpar episode. With that being said, this episode's going to be relatively casual, I think. I think. And, you know, chill, considering last episode we had prophetic dreams and giant monsters with hammers. It was not a good time. So, yeah. Let's just grab our stuff. And I... Eh, I always forget. I don't really need the Electro Wizards. I really should take it out of that chest, but I'm too lazy to. And I have, you know, a variety of new spells from uh, last uh, I bought. Like Frost Wall, which I'll demonstrate outside. So, I have a variety of spells. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. But, yeah. And yes, it will disappear over time, but it is kind of, you know, a basic thing. I don't know how useful it will be. I decided to mostly have, you know, utility spells in right now, because we're not really at risk of being attacked, considering we killed the beast. Uh, is that everyone gathering up there? What the heck's going on up there? <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh. There. Ah, Al seems to be doing stuff in her house, but what is, uh, what are all the nature peoples, uh, doing? Mongo, as usual, you say nothing, which is fair. I mean, I've never even heard you talk, or don't even know if you can talk. Uh. Is he really leaving? Where will he go? Why do goodbyes always hurt so much? <sighs> Too real. Too real. Anyways. Uh, I don't think the golems can talk, so let's see. Is this real? Please, let me wake up from this dream. Uh, I think this is reality. Please do not get, you know, super meta on me, life. Hello, little one. It is time for me to go. So it would seem, I guess, like, yeah, uh, you're leaving. I guess he did say after the beast was dealt with, and it's dead. <sighs> so it would seem. I must do this, Pukulins. I know it's hard to say goodbye, but it must be done. And who knows, maybe one day I might return to this place and see you. And everyone else, hold on to that hope. Mongo and Tola, Tola are planning to stay in the village. Tulip and the rest are going back to the forest. She will become the new guardian of the woods. She will do well, I am sure. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's something. Oh, that's good to know, I guess. Like, ah. Uh. Let me leave you with some wisdom that I have learned from over these many years. I have lived... Uh, I have lived... Your past does not define... Many years I have lived. I cannot read. Your past does not define you. People change, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. And you choose your own fate. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. I have left you a book in your mailbox. It may come in handy in times of hardship. Thank you so much for everything, and goodbye, Ancient Ent. I don't know if that's your real name, or if it's just a title, I don't know, but goodbye. Goodbye, Pukultans. Hope to see you again. 
wow, I didn't expect to start with that heaviness in my episode. Great. Just great. All right, let's go check on everyone else, I guess. There's... Ooh, there's Delta. Let's talk to her. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you're ever interested in playing Minecraft with more futuristic stuff from, like, the later, or, say, early, ne newer versions of Minecraft, there are excellent mods for that, because... Not gonna lie, campfires make amazing chimneys to make it look like simulate the uh, smoke coming out. So, yeah. Neat little tricks like that can be really cool. And there are mods that allow you to play that in 1.12.2. I believe I have it in the description. I can't remember its name off the top of my head, sadly. Hello, Delta. Hello, sir. May I have a word? Sure. What do you need? Today is already, you know, throwing me punches. Let's see what else comes about. Uh, I need to talk to you about several things, one of which is Ben's pet. Oh, I didn't uh, know he, I guess, eh, we did talk about that recently, so I'm pretty sure that thing is not a chicken, at least not any kind of chicken I have ever heard of. I think it might be a monster, better known as a cockatrice, judging by its looks and its lizard parts, but I don't know much about them, to be sure. Well... It seems harmless enough. I mean, I think he would have mentioned something. He did look at the Book of Monsters, so we'll leave it for now. Okay, sir. If you really think that's a good idea, there's also several people at the plaza wishing to become villagers. You should go see them, and we found a magic hammer on the beast we killed. It is in the bag next to me, alongside the book that Ben used to... Ugh, ben used. Do with it that what you will. Alright, I'll go see them when I'm done here. Good to hear, sir. I'm guessing that is the end... The, uh, I'm guessing that the end is leaving. Yes. Well, we'll be okay, sir. We can handle anything that comes our way. We beat that monster, and the village is growing fast. I know it's hard to say goodbye, but sometimes you need to, no matter how hard it is. I would not be here if I never left home. It was hard, but in the end, it was good for me. Maybe one day you will see him again. That is all for today, sir. Alright, you're probably right, Delta. Honestly, we're growing. We've got lots going on in our lives, and uh, maybe we'll meet him again. Alright. Wow. Earthbreaker. Well, that's a name. Alright. Well, we'll take that and throw it in the bag, I guess, on my bag. I already have a backpack, but in hindsight, yeah, I'll, I'll return it later. Oh, let's see this chicken. I see why she's concerned now. Huh. There's a lot going on here. Bok bok. Okay. Okay. It is cute, though, and it does seem relatively harmless, I think. Hi, Ben. Hello, sir. Look at my chicken. He's great. I'm just gonna let you have this, Ben. I'm just gonna let you have it. Alright. Uh, hey, Teddy. Hi there, my lord. Things are getting busy around here. No kidding. Just no kidding. I can't even stress this enough. Like, my, I never thought this would be how my series is going. Running a village. Dealing with monsters. Just... <sighs> All right. Ugh. Let's sleep the night away so we can talk to those new villagers, and then... I don't know. I I'm not sure how to feel about all this. Maybe I'll show off some of the other new spells that I got recently, because I did do some organizing of my spells. Because they were kind of, you know, all over the place, but they still kind of are if you try to look through the, you know magic bench. Alright, let's just go like this. And let's run down here. Boingy, boingy, boingy. I really should buy some stuff from here, but yeah, oh. I guess the, uh, the, the new villagers are pretty obvious, but, uh, hello, Frost. 
This place is getting busy. No kidding. With the new potential road coming in with from Seth, which I haven't seen him. I guess he might have returned home. I'll check my mailbox in case he left me a letter. But yes. Uh, who to talk to first? I guess her? I don't know. Hey, Ruby. How's it going? Ah, oh, I see your stall. Hello there. What can I get you? Uh, let's just see. Uh, nothing I don't already kind of have, but, you know, best of luck in your endeavors. I see you're keeping some good bookkeeping, which is always helpful at times. Uh, hello there. Hello. Hello there. I like how I repeated that, ironically enough. Well, are you going to tell me your name, or are you just going to stand there? Okay, well, my name is Pookletons, and yours is Condescending? Beatrice, that's my name. Happy now? Are you? No, but that will have to do, so will you have me or not? I guess I will, Cranky. I'll get you for that one, foolish boy. I'm not sure how to feel about you. What the heck did you... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> okay. That was Beatrice, apparently. Heesh. She's spicy, I guess. I don't know. Hello there. Hi there, mister. Hello there. My name's Pookletons. Oh, it's nice to meet you. My name's James. Okay, I just need a minute after that firecracker of a person. I hear you'd like to settle down in this village. That's right. I'm thinking of opening up a tavern in this place. It looks just right for what I'm looking for. Okay. Odd. I don't know what our village, you know, does for you. Oh, really? Uh, what makes you like this place so much? I mean, I don't say our area is bad, but I wouldn't say it's... Out of this world. Really? Well, I thought it would be obvious. A small town like this one is great. Just the right amount of people to start with. Also, it seems so tranquil and nice. No, let him know that we literally just had to deal with a beast like last night. Like, oh my god. This place has not been tranquil. This place is the opposite of tranquil. Well, alright then. You are more than welcome to stay. Thank you so much, sir. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is this place always like this? Okay, okay. Uh, hello. Hello there, you must be the lord of the village. You're right, on the money. He's right on the money, honestly. Finally someone who says I'm the lord and doesn't look at me strange. Oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name's Henry, and yours? My name is Pookletons. Of course. Of course one of them has to mention my name is weird. Nope. I'm not messing with you. Oh, okay. Pookletons, on name. Anyways, would you be okay if I lived here? Fine by me. Just keep in mind this place is a little odd all the time. If you think my name is odd... Okay, I guess. Anyway, I think I need to get to work. Okay. Oh, hello. Emily's getting some customers, and so is Bonnie. I guess her kids are at her house. I don't know. All right, then. Hmm. Whew. But, yeah. Hmm. I guess ugh, I'll be back in a sec with a quick cut to show you all the new spells that I've gotten. For time's sake, I don't know. Just let me do my thing. And bop. Alright, and we're back. So I quickly switched out the spells to show off uh, what, what I have gained. And if you're curious how I unlock the spells, I literally do it the, o the only way that is like cheap and free. Which just means repeatedly casting the spells until, you know, eventually it unlocks. So, yeah. I'm going to back up for Winds of Winter, 
because there's Shadow, just crazy. I'm guessing Seth must have left him here, because... Eh, he probably doesn't need it, considering the monster's dead, if that's the monster. And let's just go up to the open field, because we're going to need some targets for some of these uh, good old-fashioned spells. At least a couple of them. Which means we're probably going to have to go over here. But right now, we're in perfect range to show off the winds of winter. So basically, it just does this. Wait, this should... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Bop! And we're back. So, uh, I got the magic. All the different magics that I got from, uh, good old-fashioned Opal last episode, and I thought I'd show off some of them, because I unlocked them finally, which is tedious and boring, and I just didn't want to literally put you through that. But we're going to need to find some targets for that, so, uh, yes. Let's just see if we can find a slug or two. Because that is kind of important. I am not going to go shooting magic at the Ents, because something tells me they're going to wreck my day. And of course we can't find a creature to use some of these spells on. Well, Winds of Winter is luckily one of those spells that doesn't require a target. But it's basically a blowing away spell. So... Yes, also, I believe, summoning, or summon spirit wolf. Ah, all right, yes, there it is. Hello, little wolfie. So, yes, uh, hmm, not gonna lie, kind of interesting, but I guess we have a target now for uh, Whirlwind. Huh. I can't remember how long Spirit Wolf lasts for, but I'm just going to leave you here. Because I tested out Whirlwind, like I said, it's just mostly a blowing away spell, but with more directional control. Mm hmm I wonder how far I can go away with this thing sitting. Or if it will just disappear over time. I don't know, we're going to leave that to find out later. But yeah, we also have Frost Barrier, as I showed before. Pretty good defensive option, I think, potentially. I haven't really used it yet in combat, so... I don't know how useful it is. Maybe I should test this in creative? I don't know. Looks like it's magic proof, but yeah, this is Light Arrow, or Lightning Arrow. Which is supposedly pretty good. But, yeah, those are the spells that I got recently. They seem rather basic, but I think they'll be useful, and I figured out how the whole leveling system worked. Or, at least, I think I know how it works. For those who are curious and are trying to level up their wands in electric Electrobe Wizards... W wizard wizardry? I can't say it correctly. Sweet heavens. Basically... My best guess for now, because I couldn't find this anywhere when I was trying to figure out how to level up wands, so I had to forcibly do it through less than ideal means. I had all the equipment for it, but basically, you're going to need, because I feel like there are people out there who are going to be in my situation, you're going to need the advanced tome, or should I say, the, ugh, what is it called? Apprentice tome from Novice. You're going to need to get it in there, and then you're going to need to get, eventually get enough spell books, is my best guess, to eventually get it to the next level. So, yeah. That's my best guess on how to level up them. I don't know if there's another way. And the way you find spell books is you go around searching for them, which is a hassle, but again, could be useful. I think the more advanced spell book gives you more... Mm, energy for it. I could be wrong. But, yeah. And, maybe I'll show some other stuff off that is pretty, eh, not major, I would argue, but important to know. But, yeah. Luckily, it is most good. Ugh. Mm. 
Hmm. But the ancient end did mention that there would be uh, some notes left in the mailbox. At least there should be one. Oh, two. Okay. Uh, Seth. Okay. Uh, this must be the ancient Ents book. I guess. I don't know what that is. But let's just throw that there. I'm going to throw this inside my library book. Because I think he more intended it. And the way he worded it was this was to be used in case of emergency. Not, you know, just using it because. Ugh. No, I can't put it's. I can't put itself inside of it. It's it's a, it's a paradox. I don't know what this is. I'll have to you know look into it. Giant weird black orb, kind of weird. Maybe it's an egg. I don't know. Anyways, so, oh, yeah, Seth. Yeah, it's Seth. Probably a note left by Seth, so he could you know inform me of things. Hey, Pookleton's heading back to my, uh, going back to my village to start work on the road. When it's done, come say hi. I left Shadow in your barn. Thanks again. I guess you did not. But, I don't know. Maybe he changed his mind last minute. There's, well, oh, there's one of the wyverns. Ugh, it's the creepy black one. I, oh, and that one's still there. I guess it is a cave wyvern after all. It, living in a cave makes sense. But it does give me an excuse to put you back in the barn now that you've had some time out. I had to sadly change the doors for at least one of the stalls. Because sadly, the way Minecraft horses do not interact with these doors as well. So we have to go back to this one for his stall, but oh well. We'll survive. Let's just boop. No, no, no. Okay, you know what? We'll just put on your saddle and force you to go back. Ugh. Nope, I just want to ride him. Alright, ugh. Ugh, there we go. And let's just grab that. And fun fact, you can access the uh, horse's inventory, or vanilla horses anyways, by just uh, shift right-clicking. Not right-clicking, ugh. Yeah, right-clicking. I had it right the first time. And you get access to their inventory, so it's pretty helpful. But let's put Seth's note in here, because I really need things to fill up this bookshelf with, I don't know, something of meaning. I've got pretty basic things here. But this is his book to his village, so we'll have to look into visiting his village at some point or another. And let's throw some of these items that I don't really need into the EMC table. Now that they do not have any particular value to me at this time. But yes. Oh my word. So little, so little time. But, sadly, that is as much time as we do have for today's episode. Ugh, I gotta return this backpack. But yes, that is as much time as we do have for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like would be much appreciated. Subscribing really helps. It gets our goal of 50 subscribers. It's not a lot, but it is a goal I'm trying to reach by the end of the year, at least. And if we do, maybe I'll throw, do something special. But let's just throw that bag down there, because that's their bag. And this is my bag to make sure. But yeah. So again, subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. And if you ring the bell, you get more of my content. If not, YouTube decides to basically ignore me. Well, or even with the bell, it sometimes ignores me. With that being said, have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.